Well, apparently the dogs have been helping him out a little bit. Well, there is Paul's twin brother, Morgan Hom. And maybe not quite the gymnast that his brother is, but this guy's got a lot of talent. Let's go, Morgan! He, he sure does, and this is, this is his best event. He was a, an Olympic finalist on floor exercise and really didn't do the routine that he could have done. Should have meddled, in my opinion, there. Same opening as his brother. You know, they have, they have almost identical technique, but I think Morgan's actually a little bit bouncier. Watch this pass right here. And that's a new pass for him. That's great. Yeah, his, his brother says he's the best uh, tumbler in the world in his eyes. I would have to say that you put him in the top five, no question about that. Not only can he do the big elements, but he's got a great look. Nice, clean lines. Doesn't just do the hard element, but he makes it look effortless. And you talk to Morgan, and he really feels that where his contributions can come for this U.S. team is on this event, as well as Palma Horse and Vault. The gymnasts in this competition, if they do a D dismount, which means D for difficult, get up, Morgan. and get they get... stick it, they get an additional tenth of a point. So he can actually start at a 10-1 if he does that right there, which he did. So a good start for both Paul and Morgan Hom. Hom a half hour older than his twin brother Paul. And they will interact during the course of this championship, but there will be a business uh, attitude as well to it all. A lot of business going on in this pass as well. Same one that Paul was supposed to do. It ends with this one and three quarter somersault which a lot of the gymnasts are doing nowadays. The, the great thing about that is you get all those bonus points, but you really don't have the landing problems because you're rolling out. Solid start on the floor, 9575 for Morgan Hom. And a good start as well for the five-time national champion, Blaine Wilson, 9.675 on the still rigs. More gymnastics right after this. The U.S. Gymnastics Championships are brought to you by Chevy. The cars you can depend on, the cars that last, will be there. By Zocor. Talk to your doctor about Zocor today. And by Geico. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. As Blaine Wilson gets ready for his next event, the vault, we take a look at the standings here after the first of six rotations in these U.S. Gymnastics Championships. And the change occurred in that second spot where Blaine Wilson moved up into the second spot and Jason Ganson tumbled from second to sixth after his uh, poor routine in the opening round. So here is Blaine Wilson getting ready for the vault after the solid start on the rings. And I tell you, a lot of the U.S. athletes are really very improved on vaulting. They have made an incentive if you perform a 9-9 or a 10-0 start value vault, you actually can do two vaults as opposed to just one shot, and you can take the best score, and a number of athletes are doing that, and you also get some bonus points on top of that. And you see the number 328, that indicates the vault that Blaine's performing, it's worth a 10.0. So he'll have the option of doing another one. Really, really hard. Oh, just barely, barely touches his hands. One of the better vaults that I've seen Blaine do, he kind of opens his body just a little bit at the end. I thought he could have made this all the way around. So critical, though, to keep your body flipping. You see, when he starts to do that half turn, he slows down the flip a little bit. 9.65 for Blaine. Now, is he going to be happy with that? Yes. Looks like it. Yeah, he is. He uh, looked at the score and talked it over with his coach and said, I really don't want to do another one of those. <laughs> I don't blame him. Morgan Hom now, ready for the pommel horse. Let's be aggressive, Morgan! You hear his coach Stacy in the background there. Let's be aggressive. He told me that Morgan is really due for a great pommel horse routine. And again, this is one of the events that Morgan feels he can contribute to the U.S. team. 
And the major reason why is the rhythm and the beautiful extended body line. He has what we call a lot of clearance. His hips are high above the horse. Feet are never scraping. A required scissor element. Only the dismount. Pretty smooth. Beautiful exercise. Actually, I think left an element out. It's going to cost him a tenth of a point. It's still going to get a big score. It's very, very good. It was, it was very beautiful. I have to agree with you, Stacy. Just excellent rhythm. That's the, that's the key right there. Gatson, after that disastrous start on the high bar, getting ready for his floor exercise, and he will be sporting that uh, knee brace, which of course uh, protects a knee, which has uh, had at least a couple of surgeries. And because of that, he chooses tumbling passes like this that all roll out so he doesn't have to pound and bang that knee up. Very different from the Jason Gatson we knew four years ago. But a super smart exercise, really choreographed well for a lot of reasons. You, like I said earlier, the landing deductions that are so easily applied really don't happen on these rollouts. And so I don't know where they're taking off anything in this exercise, maybe one or two tenths on form, but certainly no landing deductions. Tell you, you really have to admire this guy to continue in this sport. I mean, he's uh, sporting that big, cumbersome knee brace, but still has some unfinished business in the sport that he wants to take care of. And it, it obviously uh, really uh, curtails some of the, his gymnastics, especially on the floor. But uh, that's the price he's willing to pay for it all. It's all good. It's just like that, he has done a great Thank job, you. though, and I wouldn't count this guy out of it. He's got. This event, great job, and four more really strong events. Once again, difficult tumbling pass. A lot of gymnasts doing this one and three quarter somersault rollout. You know, Tim, you talked about the smart tumbling that he chose. He says, I'm really comfortable with these routines. Very sure about what I'm doing here. Good rebound for Jason on the floor, a 9.4 as he takes off the knee brace. And there is Morgan sitting next to twin brother Paul, 9625 for Morgan Hom. And when people talk about all of the talent coming into the uh, men's U.S. gymnastics program, they're talking about this young man, Raj Bahavsar, 22-year-old former Ohio State gymnast who was the NCAA all-around champion last year. And he is doing another super hard vault, a Sukahara double pike. And don't kid yourself, this is tough stuff right here. Yikes. <laughs> and you can see his coach celebrate that one. That is how difficult that was to pull off. You know, I asked Miles Avery, his coach, I said, what are you thinking when you see Raj running down that runway? And he goes, oh, man, I just look up in the air and say, I hope this is a good one. Land on your feet, buddy. And he did not in the warm-ups. He landed exactly <laughs> on his face. And it is, it's just so difficult. Got to get way up in the air. Judges, maybe tough call on this because if he's tucked, if they call that a tucked position, it's a much lower start value. But they didn't. They gave him, they gave him the pike, and they gave him a nine-eight, and that'll be it. There'll be no other attempt at that ball. <laughs> Here's Paul Hom, the leader after the nine point four on the floor. He has continued to lead most of this championship and here is on, Paul Hom set to take to the pommel horse and he can grab a giant number here same look as his brother on horse well Tim I would assume that since they're identical twins <laughs> thanks Dan <laughs> in fact it's hard to tell them apart at times it is you know, I think what makes these guys so great is that they are always students of the sport. They study day in and day out. They take videotapes of themselves, even here at the National, and they compare themselves with the best gymnasts in the world. And they do it all right here in this town, in Milwaukee and nearby Waukesha, Wisconsin, where they have both chosen to train. Yeah! <laughs> Stacy likes it. 
That's going to get, like I said, that's going to bring in a big, big score. There you go. Well, if Paul lacks any emotion, it's taken care of by his coach, Stacy, huh? <laughs> nice scissor work. And then he picks up and goes into a flare to a handstand with a pirouette. If you're great, you make everything look effortless. And he did that through the entire exercise and capped it off with that. Nine eight for Paul Hom, and that could lengthen his lead after the second of six rotations. 